As we continue to follow Putin's war in Ukraine, I spoke with a local expert for context on the conflict. An expert says Putin pushes a narrative of Russia's return to imperial power, showcased in this war of aggression against the democratic nation of Ukraine. We see along these two decades, the past two decades, Russians pushing uh, as far as they could um, and oftentimes getting away with it. Dr. Alexander Mikabaretsi is an expert on Russian military history. The conflict is also personal for him. He's originally from the country of Georgia, which Russia invaded in 2008. And nothing happened to Russia. There was no punishment. So. Then came Crimea. Putin's invasion there was in direct violation of international law and the sovereignty of a neighboring state, now Ukraine. Putin is clearly determined to take over uh, Ukraine and get rid of the democratically elected Ukrainian government. However, Mika Baretze says Putin underestimated Ukrainians and their leader. It's what didn't account is the resiliency of Ukrainian army. And yes, the, the leadership of Ukrainian government, President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky, who emerged as a true hero of this conflict, uh, who is able to rally his people, rally his army and he resist uh, against all odds. He says Putin and his senior officials miscalculated their plans for a quick invasion, relying on shock and awe tactics and trying to take down Ukraine's government. In reality, Putin's army has profound logistic challenges. I am, like many other observers and commentators, uh, uh, quite surprised at the level of incompetence the Russian army demonstrated. He says Putin sent young Russian soldiers to their deaths while he's committing heinous war crimes against innocent civilians. I'm not here to denigrate Russian people or Russian society or Russian culture. Right? Here I, I am to challenge and criticize the regime uh, that Mr. Putin created over two decades, which in many respects victimizes the Russian people. Now, even to the threat of nuclear war. I'm not one of the people who believes that Mr. Putin is madman. Uh, I don't think he's mad, nor is he insane. And that is the very reason why I take those threats very seriously. He says the heart of this war lies in something Americans can easily understand. Democracy versus dictatorship. Diplomacy versus murder. It is struggle between what is right and what is wrong. Every nation, every nation has the right to choose its path, to choose its destiny.